The analysis view shows the data of the currently selected measurement. At the top of the window, there is a navigation panel where you can select measurements. It only shows you the combinations of the entries that have had at least one measurement made. On the left side of the analysis view, there is a list of controls that affects only the analysis view. By clicking on the New Measurement button, you will start a new measurement. You can select a measurement by clicking on the Select Current Measurement button. Select a project, Visit, Subject, Test and Repetition for which you want to see the data. Delete a selected measurement by clicking on the Delete button. Reanalysis of the selected measurements can be done by selecting the Reanalyze button. The reanalysis will be done based on the moved event cursors. By clicking on the Info button, you will get additional information about the selected measurement. This info also contains parameters used to analyze the measurement. You can write notes about the specific measurement by clicking on the Notes button. To edit the input parameters for the selected measurement, select Edit Input Parameters, set new input parameters, and confirm it. The selected measurement is now saved with the newly selected input parameters. Clicking on the After Test Instructions button will open a new window where instructions that describe different phases of the test marked by cursors on the graph are shown. Clicking on the More button will open the test-specific visualizations. The Indirect Parameters table is accessible via this button. In the center of the analysis view, there are various types of data visualizations for the selected measurement. The collection of this type depends on the device configuration and acquisition settings. The graph represents the signals acquired with the force plates. You can switch between the signals and COP view. There are some toolbox functions that help the user to easily manipulate data. Scissoring the data is not reversible. By clicking on the Legend button, you will get a legend on the graph that shows which color represents which signal. Plot values will show you the values for each plot on the graph at the cursor position. Statistics will calculate the basic parameters for each plot on the interval between two cursors.
In case a measurement contains a video, there is an option to show the video cursor. When moving the video cursor on the graph, the corresponding video frame will be shown and vice versa. The table contains all the calculated parameters that are divided into different groups. The results from the table can be exported by clicking on the Export Table button. You can define which sets of the data analysis parameters are displayed in the table. These options can be accessed by clicking on the Filter Visible Parameters button where you can select between the predefined parameter views or create your own by selecting Manage. A more detailed description of the parameters can be accessed by left-clicking on the parameter's name. In general, charts are used to compare parameters between the left and right side. Because of that, the charts are visible only in cases when a measurement was acquired with two plates. You can change the parameter shown in the chart by clicking on the chart and selecting Edit. Select two parameters that you want to be shown in the chart. Be aware that you can select only the parameters from the same parameter type. A video will be shown if a camera was configured when the measurement was acquired. Below the videos, you have some basic controls for manipulating the video, such as start, stop, skip forward, skip backwards, etc. You can export the current image of the video by clicking on the Export Image button. You can flip the image over a vertical axis by selecting Flip Image. The bars at the bottom of the videos represent the distribution of the vertical force between the left and right plate. This is shown only in cases when a measurement was acquired with two plates. The force vector overly shows the resultant vector of the ground reaction force. To show the resultant vector, the horizontal forces Fx and Fy have to be acquired, otherwise only the vertical component, Fz, of the force will be displayed. To use vector overlay, you have to calibrate the plate position first. Select two diagonally opposite corners of the force plate. Calibrate the left plate under the left foot first. To enable accurate vector origin, select COP signals in the Acquisition Settings in the Settings panel. If the COP signals are not acquired, the origin of the vector will be in the center of each force plate. Once the plate position is calibrated, it's used for all subsequent measurements until a new plate position is calibrated. To show vectors, click on the Show Vector Overly button.